Hey, this is Eric, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to maximize space in Google Slides for manipulative drag and drop activities. Although Google Slides is great for presentations, there are so many other creative activities it can be used for, such as stop motion animation, choose your own adventure stories, ebooks and comic strips, and one of my favorite uses drag and drop manipulative activities. Over the years, I've enjoyed creating many of these manipulative activities, including build a snowman, build a jack-o'-lantern, build a what I'm thankful for turkey, the one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish sorting activity, playing backgammon, playing the royal game of Ur, and long and short vowel sounds. As awesome as these are, one challenge can be the limited space available in Google Slides for the activity itself. Because these are drag and drop activities, you can't switch into presentation mode, but you have to stay in edit mode to be able to move the items around. So if a student is working on this by themselves on a small Chromebook screen, or if you're presenting the project through a Google Meet, or if you have it projected onto a board in your classroom for a whole group activity, it would really be helpful to have more space for the actual interaction. Thankfully, you can do this. Google Slides has four built-in settings that can be used to clear away all the extra panels and menus and such and give you and your students all the space you need for your activity. Let's take a look at how this is done. The first setting that you can adjust is to get rid of the speaker notes panel at the bottom of the screen. There are two ways to do this. First, you can click on View in the top menu bar and then uncheck the option for Show Speaker Notes. This will hide the Speaker Notes section and give you much more room for your drag and drop activity. Of course, you can show them again by clicking View and then choosing Show Speaker Notes. The second option to do this is to simply click and drag the Speaker Notes bar to reduce the size of that section. Again, you can always drag the bar back up to show it again if needed. The second setting you can adjust to get more space is to hide the film strip. The film strip is the panel on the left side of the screen that displays the thumbnails for all of the slides in your slideshow. Although this is useful, it does take up a lot of room. We can remove it in two ways as well. First, we can click the View menu in the top menu bar and then uncheck the option for Show Film Strip. Of course, we can show it again by clicking View and then checking Show Film Strip. A second option for doing this is to simply click on the left arrow button at the bottom of the film strip to hide it or click on the right arrow button to reveal it again. Do note, when the film strip is hidden, you can still move between your slides by pressing the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard or using the scroll wheel on your mouse. The third setting to get more space is to hide the menus at the top of the screen. You can do this by clicking on the up arrow in the top right hand corner to make the menus go away, giving us even more room to work with now. Now if you do end up needing to access the menu again, you can just click on the down arrow in the top right hand corner to show the menus again. By the way, if you prefer keyboard shortcuts, you can toggle the menus on and off by pressing Control shift f on a PC or Chromebook or Command Shift F on a Mac. So at this point we've removed pretty much everything except for the toolbar. For the final setting we have an option that will get rid of the menus and the toolbar at the same time. To do this we'll click on the View menu and then click on the Full Screen option. This will now remove the menus and the toolbar so only the slide will fill up all of the remaining available space. 
Now to exit from full screen mode, you simply press the escape key on your keyboard. So let's do all of those together now by removing the speaker notes and removing the film strip and by going full screen we can now maximize the space that you or your students have to do drag and drop activities. This can make it so much easier to see all of the details and to click and drag the items around as needed. Hopefully this helps you get even more use out of these creative Google Slides drag and drop projects. And be sure to visit my website at controlaltachieve.com for all of my educational technology resources.